I got a food poison <laughs> one week ago. At least in Taipei, like the, the standard of living is quite mm -hmm. quite high. You have the healthcare system, you have the school system. Uh, I really like. Hello, everybody. A very new friend. I guess the first time I'm going to interview a friend from Finland. I want to introduce you a handsome guy, Anton. Hello, everyone. Niao. My friend, he studied here and there was a few days until the scholarship that I got was closing out. So he posted on his Instagram like, if anyone doesn't know what they want to do, then like in six months, just apply. And I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. So I applied for the scholarship to study Chinese in Taiwan. And here I am. Well, obviously, uh, Taiwan's democracy, uh, the flourishing democracy in an environment that is not so democratic, like the neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. So compared to them, like Taiwan is an exceptional story. Mm -hmm. Like they're doing so well in like all the democratic scales. So that's the main news in Finland that we know about Taiwan. I see. Yeah. So my parents uh, speak Russian as their first language. Okay. So Russian. Then Finnish, I learned in Finland, obviously. <laughs> then we have to learn Swedish, Swedish. in Finland. Uh, then English. English. Uh, then I, I've been living in Indonesia. Oh so my god. So I speak Indonesian quite well. And then a bit of Chinese now. Uh, from my experience, it's, it's very good. Uh, like the teacher in our school in Shida, uh, she's engaging with us a lot and I like that she wants us to speak freely and like use our imagination. So it's not just like you're reading from the wall but you're actually trying to discuss and like uh, speak freely mm -hmm. with the classmates. So I like that aspect a lot. Well, we don't have any homework. Really? So. <laughs> How come? Uh, we believe that the, the teaching, uh, the learning happens in class. And we also integrate a lot of uh, uh, like uh, learning with fun and with games. Mm -hmm. So we believe that teaching should be, uh, learning should be enjoyable. And there's a lot of games. And yeah, I guess that's one part of it. Well, it's now minus 10 in Finland and it's covered with snow, so the weather definitely. Mm -hmm. And now it's springtime in Taiwan and I'm feeling very hot already. And local people say this is nothing. Nothing, this is nothing, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, so I'm a bit afraid in what's to come. And then another difference is obviously the, the food scene, mm -hmm. like the, the smells that you can smell in the streets and the vendors everywhere. So the food culture is much more vibrant in Taiwan. I really like sesame noodles. Ah, it's good. You yeah. mean mian? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was my first food that I tried after the quarantine, mm -hmm. and I loved it. And, it and was, your favorite? Yeah, and still, that's still my favorite. The biggest uh, obstacle is the fear of making mistakes. So when you're learning languages, there's no way you can be perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's just to put yourself in a vulnerable position and like make mistakes. And that's the best way to learn. You remember from the mistakes. So no one can be perfect. So that's my number one uh, hint in learning languages. Not that much. I've been in the East Coast, mm -hmm. uh, Kualien, Taitung, Ilan, 
but not in the west coast and I tried hitchhiking for the first time in my life in Taiwan. Really? Yeah. How was it? <laughs> it was, people are very friendly and it didn't take, it took like 10-15 minutes to get, uh, get picked and it's a great way to learn also study Chinese and practice my Chinese. Just you're in the car and you have to speak Chinese. So. <laughs> I'm I'm adapting surprisingly well, so not yet. Well, I got a food poison one week ago, oh, really? so my stomach is maybe not used to yet, but my mind is used. <laughs> <laughs> In the metro station, I was a bit shocked how people are lining and no one is rushing to go to the elevators or rushing to go when the metro door opens. Mm. I was surprised how orderly everyone is here. Isn't that the same in Finland? It's it's a bit same, but not as... I thought Finland is the most orderly country. Yeah. I came to Taiwan and there's one more orderly country. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was quite surprised by that. And I was like taking pictures and sending to my friends like, look, people are lining in the metro. <laughs> Moi kaikki, tulkaa Taiwaniin, täällä on huikeita ihmisiä ää, ja täällä tapaa paljon uusia ystäviä ja täällä on tosi hyvä sää. Ja jos te haluatte oppia kiinan kieltä, niin tulkaa tänne. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Shishini. you so much. Shishini. Kiitos. Kiitos, kiitos. Kiitos, Shishini. Anton on ihan bang de,呃,语言教育,让他学这么多的语言,我当然也希望,呃,更多台湾的朋友,跟我们一样,不管是用,呃,哪一个语言,可以学得好。所以呢,最近我很认真的宣传,让大家了解,让大家知道我的,双语